Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, F1 Racing. In the fast-paced world of Formula 1, where split-second decisions and lightning-fast cars rule the track, the unexpected can bring even the mightiest team to their knees. And now, as the deadly flood wreaks havoc in Italy's Emilia-Romagna region, a new challenge emerges – the struggle to make it from Imola to Monaco in time for the next Grand Prix. The director of operations of Formula 2, Marco Cadello, sounds the alarm, and the question lingers in the air. Will the F1 world overcome this unforeseen obstacle or be left scrambling in their quest for victory? Join us as we dive into the high-stakes world of F1 teams desperately racing against the clock to conquer the monumental task of getting to Monaco. The road ahead is treacherous, the pressure immense, but failure is not an option for these teams. Get ready for a heart-stopping journey filled with determination, resilience and the unyielding pursuit of glory. This is the gripping story of F1 teams struggling to get to Monaco. In a heartbreaking turn of events, the roaring engines of Formula One will fall silent in the picturesque region of Emilia-Romagna. The anticipated 2023 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, set to ignite the circuits with scorching action, has been abruptly called off. But why would the pinnacle of motorsport halt its thunderous march? It all comes down to a relentless force of nature. Severe flooding and unyielding rainfall have ravaged the idyllic northern reaches of Italy, turning vibrant towns into waterlogged landscapes and transforming motorways into treacherous rivers. As the Grand Prix week unfurled, the situation deteriorated further, leaving no choice but to cancel the much-anticipated race at Emola. With the safety and well-being of the local communities at the forefront, Formula One made the agonizing decision to relinquish the event. Stefano Domenicali, the esteemed F1 chief, emphasized the importance of not burdening the heroic authorities already grappling with the calamity. He expressed, The decision that has been taken is the right one for everyone in the local communities and the F1 family as we need to ensure safety and not create extra burden for the authorities while they deal with this very awful situation. The gravity of the situation was not lost on the esteemed figures involved in calling off the Grand Prix. FIA President Mohamed Ben Salem, the Italian government, the Italian automobile club president, local politicians and the race promoter united in their dedication to prioritizing the welfare of the affected region. While disappointment permeates the racing fraternity, Formula One teams and drivers, including revered names like Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris, have rallied behind the decision. Their unwavering support and heartfelt messages testify to the solidarity and compassion that defines the motorsport community. With the Imola circuit now left empty and the roar of engines subdued, the racing world must regroup and focus on the next battleground. The journey continues, and eyes turn towards the forthcoming round in Monaco, where the echoes of Imola's cancellation will linger. But as Formula One navigates the challenging road ahead, the spirit of resilience and determination burns brighter than ever, reminding us that the pursuit of speed and glory can never be dampened, even in the face of nature's fiercest challenges. In a heartfelt display of solidarity, Formula One drivers have joined together to offer their unwavering support to the region amidst the adverse weather conditions that led to the cancellation of the Grand Prix. With the focus shifting towards the crucial rescue efforts, these racing titans have taken a moment to convey their thoughts and prayers to those affected. George Russell, known for his passion on and off the track, expressed his regret for the fans eagerly anticipating this weekend's race. However, he emphasized that the safety of everyone involved must always take precedence. He extended his best wishes to the people in the Emilia-Romagna region and the surrounding areas, which the devastating floods have impacted. Max Verstappen, an electrifying force in the world of motorsport, took to Twitter to share his empathetic message. His thoughts were with all those affected in the greater Emilia-Romagna region, and he urged everyone to stay safe during this challenging time. Sergio Perez, teammate to Verstappen, echoed the sentiments of his fellow drivers. He offered his thoughts, prayers and support to the people in the Italian region of Emilia-Romagna, emphasizing the importance of safety above all else. Although they won't be racing there this weekend, he expressed hope for a swift return in the future and urged everyone to stay safe. 
Even Lewis Hamilton, the iconic and influential figure in Formula One, showed his support through an Instagram story. Fans like that too. In these challenging times, the racing community demonstrates that their compassion extends far beyond the track's boundaries. Their heartfelt messages of support serve as a reminder that in the face of adversity, unity and empathy can help heal even the deepest wounds. The Formula One world finds itself in a race against time, as the cancellation of the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix raises concerns about the upcoming Monaco Grand Prix. Marco Cordello, the director of operations for the F1 support series Formula 2, warns of potential struggles ahead as teams grapple with the aftermath of the local flooding that led to the cancellation. While the Formula One paddock at Imola remains relatively unscathed, the F2 and F3 support paddock situation is dire, with knee-deep flooding in some areas. The Alpine engineer, Karel Luz, reveals the challenges faced by the teams, with trucks unable to leave and personnel stranded. As they wait for the floodwaters to recede, there is uncertainty about when they can pack up and ship everything to Monaco for the next race. Cadello explains the logistical hurdles, emphasizing that Formula 2 and Formula 3 require two days to prepare, while Formula 1 needs even more time. With the Imola cancellation leaving only a few days before the Monaco Grand Prix, the tight schedule and the prospect of further heavy rain in the Emilia-Romagna region pose significant obstacles. The situation is far from ideal. Codello envisions the chaos at Bologna Airport, not only inundated with water, but also filled with people trying to return home. Flights are limited, leaving them with no choice but to remain calm and adapt to the ever-evolving circumstances. This emergency affects everyone involved, and patience becomes a necessary virtue. Despite these challenges, F1 remains optimistic about the preparation for the Monaco Grand Prix. Discussions with local authorities have assured them that the cancellation of the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix will not impact the upcoming race. Although access to the Imola circuit is restricted, essential personnel have been allowed back in to start the process of de-rigging the paddock. The clock is ticking, and teams must swiftly pack up their equipment and travel to Monaco to ensure a seamless setup for the next race. Everything must arrive on time and without any delays. However, as pictures and aerial drone footage reveal, parts of the Imola paddock lie submerged in water, a stark reminder of the devastation caused by the flooding. The region has experienced an extraordinary deluge, with some areas receiving half their annual rainfall in just 36 hours. Rivers have burst their banks, and towns including Faenza, home to the Alfa Tori F1 team's factory, have been severely affected. Tragically, lives have been lost, and thousands of people have been evacuated, prompting urgent rescue operations involving lifeboats and helicopters. The focus now rightfully turns to providing aid and support to the affected communities. Amidst the challenges and uncertainties, Formula One remains resolute. Teams will rally together, determined to overcome any hurdles they face and deliver a thrilling Monaco Grand Prix. The spirit of resilience and the unwavering pursuit of excellence will shine through as the racing community shows solidarity in the face of adversity. Get ready for the highly anticipated 2023 Monaco Grand Prix, a legendary event that will captivate Formula One fans around the world. This thrilling race will take place on Sunday, May 28th, covering 78 laps of the iconic 3.337km Circuit de Monaco in Monte Carlo. Monaco is synonymous with Formula One glory, and attending the Grand Prix is a dream come true for many motorsports enthusiasts. Since the inception of the modern championship in 1950, Formula One has graced the streets of Monaco almost every season. Whilst the cityscape has evolved and the track has seen minor alterations, the heart-pounding experience of tight street racing between the barriers has remained unchanged. Although the cancellation of the 2023 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix due to flooding caused concerns about potential disruptions, the F1 community has safely arrived in Monaco, ensuring an uninterrupted spectacle for fans. While the recent events won't affect the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix, wet weather is possible. Early forecasts indicate a rainy weekend, reminiscent of last year's thrilling race in Monte Carlo. 
it's advisable to pack a waterproof jacket just in case. Attending the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix entails expenses, but is a worthwhile investment. Ticket prices in Monaco have risen by approximately 30% in recent years. However, introducing new American races in Miami and Las Vegas has shifted Monaco's position as the most expensive F1 weekend. On average, fans can expect to spend around €1,500, covering three-day grandstand tickets, a three-night stay in a hotel in Nice, and additional spending money. For a detailed breakdown of expenses, check out our budget planner. The 2023 Monaco Grand Prix will feature an altered schedule, aligning with other races by holding the opening Formula One practice sessions on Friday instead of Thursday. However, support races, including Formula 3, will still have practice sessions on Thursday. Formula 3's return to the streets of Monaco after a decade adds to the excitement, joined by Formula 2 and Porsche Super Cup, promising adrenaline fueled action as they have in previous years. Beyond the track, there are many attractions to explore during your visit to the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix. Whether you're staying within Monaco or in neighboring areas like Nice, you'll have ample opportunities for off-track enjoyment. Immerse yourself in Prince Rainier's car collection. Experience the glamour of Monte Carlo's iconic casino or bask in the beauty of Nice's expansive beaches. The region offers a vibrant and diverse range of activities to enhance your Grand Prix experience. As the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix approaches, anticipation builds for an unforgettable race weekend. Stay updated with essential information, session times and access points on our trackside page. Embrace the thrill of Formula One's most celebrated event and create lasting memories both on and off the track during your visit to Monaco. As the Formula One world navigates the challenges posed by the cancellation of the 2023 Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix and the ensuring struggles faced by the teams, one thing becomes clear. The resilience and determination of these racing giants are on full display. The decision to call off the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix due to severe flooding in northern Italy has created a ripple effect, leaving F1 teams and personnel grappling with logistical hurdles. The F2 and F3 support paddocks find themselves knee-deep in water, hindering the departure of trucks and leaving personnel stranded. The director of operations of the F1 support series Formula 2, Marco Cardello, warns of the potential challenges in reaching Monaco in time for the next race. Yet, amid the uncertainty and the need to wait for the situation to improve, the F1 community remains steadfast and supportive. Drivers such as George Russell, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez have expressed their sympathy for the affected region and their understanding of the priority placed on safety. While the cancellation of the Imola race may have raised concerns, Formula One is resolute in its commitment to ensure minimal impact on the preparation for the upcoming Monaco Grand Prix. Despite the adversity faced, teams are determined to pack up and shift out swiftly, ready to conquer the iconic streets of Monte Carlo. As we eagerly await the Monaco Grand Prix, an event steeped in history and adored by motorsport enthusiasts, it's essential to remember that Formula One is not just about the race itself. It's about resilience, adaptability and the unwavering support of fans around the world. So let's keep our eyes on Monaco, where the thrill of street racing will once again captivate our hearts. The struggles faced and overcome by F1 teams only serve to enhance the excitement and anticipation surrounding the upcoming race. Let us unite in our appreciation for these racing heroes' incredible efforts and dedication as they continue to push boundaries and overcome obstacles in their relentless pursuit of victory. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow F1 fans and the wider community. Now get ready for the 2023 Monaco Grand Prix. And remember, hitting that bell icon ensures you won't miss a single update or news from the world of Formula One. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll be back soon with another exciting video. Until then, take care, stay tuned, and bye-bye.